All right, Gentle Germs, Wicked Green with another unboxing for you. Today we're going to be doing the E-Flex 75 by 300 digital microscope with flexible neck. I was looking at the pluggable 2.0. Um, I think it went from 50 to 200 or 50 to 250 by, something like that. Um, it looked pretty cool. Watched some reviews on YouTube and uh, it seemed like a quality unit. But I ended up going with this one because it's very similar as far as the base and the neck go. I assume it's probably the same manufacturer somewhere down the line. Um, but this one has the better, you know, 300 by. And the reviews I watched, um, they were able to actually use it as a handheld device. Which is important to me because I bought this almost specifically to check out Tricom development. So, let's get into it. Uh, I opened this box from Amazon and my little puff pack was, was broken. I was very upset with that. Because that means this thing was just rattling around like crazy in there. But, Amazon, not eBay. So if it's broken, I get a new one. Alright, plastic sleeve. Completely not secured, but again, Amazon. The box feels very light. Alright, what do we got here? Got our one year limited warranty. Warranted to be free from defects, material workmanship. Extends to the original purchaser only. And that's pretty much it. Warranty procedure on the back. Receipt or other dated proof of purchase. Authorization. Prepay shipping. That's nice. Will not accept merchandise COD. So even if you got to send it back, you got to pay them. Amazon. There we go. There's some software updates. Pretty self explanatory. Alright. It looks like, I don't know if you guys can see that shimmer, but it looks like the base is made out of a separate material, probably for the uh, suction cup. Yeah, it's like a smoother, non porous type of feel. This has got kind of like a coating on it, which is not coated here. Um, you can see it got some. Some mill lines for calibration. It gets down there pretty small. Oh man, that thing is dinky. That's tiny. This thing's only probably four inches long. It's got the touch to capture on top. Capacitive. There's no button press. That's a capacitive touch. Um, got LED light control, focus control. See the LEDs and the lens in there. And you can see the focus. Obviously, just raises and lowers the lens on the interior and the arm suction cup. That's heavier than the camera is. It's pretty rigid too. It's uh, That flexible conduit's actually pretty nice. Pretty good. All right. And that's it. Nothing left. Alright. Let's see how the old suction cup works. That's on there. That is really on there. That's pretty good. Well, you lift it up and it's still on there pretty good. You gotta use this little tabber. Boy, that, that works really, really well. I'm actually really surprised at how rigid that is once that's on there. That's really good. See, there's a couple dimples here for the camera to fit into. You can see the dimples on the camera. I'll just go ahead and clip it on there. Pretty simple. 
I could see the tabs on this breaking if you weren't careful with them though. But that's much smaller. That camera is much smaller than I thought it was going to be. Um, the cord's not very long either, but oh, that's a pain. But whatever. I mean, if it works, it works. This cost, uh, I think it was $36 off of Amazon. It is the Carson MM840 E-Flex 75 by 300. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use it a little bit, take some pictures with it and video. Um, I have to go visit the website, get the software for it. But after that is done, I will go ahead and add a couple pictures of some trichome and maybe some video also. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. All right. Well, a couple things I wanted to mention real quick. Um, I was toying with this unit off camera, and you know you have to go to the website to download the um, the application, the software for the for the device. It operates like a webcam, so you don't really need the software, but. Um, it allows you to kind of easily take pictures and video and things like that. So I went and downloaded it. Anyways, long story short, um, the publisher on the software is unverified. So it's going to red flag your computer. I isolated it. It ran fine. Um, seems like there's nothing wrong with the, uh, with the software. And you just select from the drop down here in the program. I did have some trouble getting it to sync up or recognize. The uh, the lights on the on the microscope would come on briefly and then shut off, um, even though there was no disconnect sound from the from the computer, it was still not registering. I couldn't couldn't see it in the drop down. And what I did was I actually it was on the webcam, um, and I messed with the resolution. And for some reason, when I chose the interpolated resolution, uh, it, it kind of like. I don't know, fritzed it out or something, and then all of a sudden the USB microscope was discoverable. So I don't know what exactly I did, but it worked.